Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, DwyerVIP.com. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Well, you know, it takes a lot to totally shock me, to catch me completely unprepared for breaking news that strategically makes a lot of sense and really puts a promotional group over the top. Moments ago online news broke that Miguel Cotto apparently is about to sign with Rock Nation. Folks, that's a blockbuster. Right? This is the signing, in my opinion, that sets Rock Nation up. Understand, Rock Nation already has the champion at 168 pounds in Andre Ward. Right? You simply cannot be the best at 168 pounds unless you fight Andre Ward. Right? Now to that stable, they're actually adding a guy who has sold out Madison Square Garden several times. Right? This is a blockbuster of epic proportions. Miguel Cotto is the middleweight champion. Whoever you think is the best at middleweight. Just understand that Kodo is the biggest box office in that division. Right? Rock Nation now can literally put on a show at Madison Square Garden, have Miguel Cotto as part of a card, and guarantee itself a sellout. Let me go one step further. Eddie Hearn talked about the idea that Andre Ward doesn't have the box office Carl Froch has in the United Kingdom, right, here in the United States. So Eddie Hearn was suggesting that Andre Ward would have to travel to the United Kingdom to fight Carl Froch. Well, understand that argument now evaporates, doesn't it? If you put Miguel Cotto on the same card you know as a co-feature with Andre Ward against Carl Froch you're not only gonna have a sellout in New York City you're gonna have an event right and so you need to realize too that since we're talking about Carl Froch and I understand Froch and Ward have been given an ultimatum by a sanctioning body but understand, styles make fights. What I want people to ask themselves style-wise is who would have the foot speed advantage if, and we're just speculating here, right? If Carl Froch were to fight Miguel Cotto, right? I'm telling you that fighting small is an underappreciated skill in boxing. You've had some great heavyweight champions, right? Rocky Marciano, Joe Fraser, Mike Tyson, who were able to get underneath taller guys. Now, Carl is a skilled fighter, but he's not the fastest moving fighter, right? Wouldn't Carl have a problem with Cotto moving around the ring and then jumping in on him? Wouldn't Carl Froch be easier to find? than Sergio Martinez, right? Let's drag this out even further. You know, before the Martin Murray fight, Abel Sanchez talked about how he thought Golovkin's toughest opponent was Curtis Stevens, right? Because Stevens is a short guy. Golovkin doesn't like to bend. Right? We know Kasim Uma got underneath Golovkin, gave him problems, right? Got inside Golovkin's shell, right? Golovkin doesn't like when a guy is up close, hitting him with withering body punches. Now keep in mind, a Kodo Golovkin fight would be a middleweight unification match. And if that match is in New York City, either the Barclays Center or at the Mecca of boxing, Madison Square Garden, you'd be guaranteed a sellout. You'd be guaranteed big 
City press coverage. It would be an event. Right? So understand, you know, Miguel Cotto has long been a very popular fighter in really a town that's a fight mecca. Right? Ray Robinson used to own a restaurant uptown. Jack Johnson used to own a club uptown. Think about the fighters from New York City, just current fighters. Zab Judah, Paulie Malinaji. Just look at the heavyweight division, just some recent fighters going back not that far. Right, Shannon Briggs? Okay, maybe you're saying, well, Shannon Briggs is still fighting. Okay, fine. Shannon Briggs, Mike Tyson, Riddick Bowe, right, Mitch, Blood, Green, Mitch, we haven't forgotten about you. You know, the guy training Deontay Wilder right now is also a New York legend. Wasn't a heavyweight, but you should know who he is, Mark Breland. Right? You have several other fighters, Joshua Clotty, for example, who train out of the Bronx right now. New York City is really an opportunity waiting to happen for the right promotional outfit. There's a lot of talent there. You also have a boxing mecca, and people need to be aware of this. Not too far away in Newark, New Jersey. Right? Guys like Tomasa Demick had big fights in northern Jersey. Right? So understand, given that Miguel Cotto is a giant, and I mean a giant, in New York City, and given that the city's boxing atmosphere right now has been revived, right? We even have Philly guys like Danny Garcia coming to New York to fight. You need to view Miguel Cotto as a huge catch by Rock Nation. They're supposed to announce it on Thursday. Let's hope it happens because this is going to shake up boxing as we know it. Think about it. The same promotional company is going to have a middleweight champ and a super middleweight champ. Right? Think about it. You get Miguel Cotto, he can be the linchpin of any promotion that you do in New York City. Right? If you combine it with, right, the Puerto Rican Day Parade and stuff like that, oh my goodness. That's all I could say about this. So this signing is bigger than most. You've been hearing lately about a lot of fighters signing in a lot of places, right? Just understand this signing stands out. Think it through further. There's several guys lining up to fight Miguel Cotto, right? Saul Alvarez wants to fight Miguel Cotto. How many hours would it take for Madison Square Garden to sell out for a Saul Alvarez Miguel Cotto fight? By the way, let me take a step back. I'll agree that James Kirkland will have a say in the issue, right? But my point to you is simply you have big names, you have some venues that are among the most illustrious in the sports history, right? Madison Square Garden was where Ali Fraser won took place, right? Think about it. That fight was so big, they just called it the fight, right? And, of course, you have, in the same promotional company, a guy who a good argument can be made is either the best or the second best pound for pound in the sport, right? Pay close attention to the signing. I don't have the details on how many years and what else is involved and stuff like that, but just understand this is a huge signing if Cotto, in fact, does join Rock Nation. That'd be a major coup in the boxing promotional world. Let me hear what you think. Leave your comments for me here online. I understand there's some other huge fight towns across the United States, right? Philly, I hear you. Chicago, I've been watching, right? All I'm saying, though, is understand Miguel Cotto really is the unofficial king of New York. 
when it comes to boxing right and now he's about to go with a well-funded New York promoter that's trying to make a name for itself right Miguel Cotto with Jay-Z and Andre Ward in New York City all of us need to pay attention let me hear from you thanks for stopping by